All right. Well, as you see, we've got a very special guest today, Pastor Alma Rivera. Can we give her an amazing hand? Isn't that awesome? And she's going to be ministering to us in just a minute. And, uh, but I want to introduce her before the time because she's going to flow straight from the worship into the message. But those of you that may not already know her, Pastor Alma Rivera is an international gospel singer. She's an evangelist. She's a movie and music producer as well as an ordained minister. Now, she was born in Mexico and at the age of 11 gave her heart to Christ. And it was in Mexico, in fact, she was kidnapped. And she preached and ministered to her assailants. I think when she gets kidnapped, you've got to pray for the assailants, not for her. But she uh, uh, escaped there unharmed. She was released from them because of the power of God as she ministered to these people. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> Hallelujah. And, um, and so she's uh, shared this testimony on uh, multiple networks uh, throughout the countries uh, worldwide. She also travels the world sharing the gospel and holding amazing revival meetings of which you, we're going to see a, a few clips in the, short, uh, in, the, uh, in the short future. And we're also going to uh, see how these revival meetings that she's been holding have been bringing people salvation and deliverance, supernatural healing. And I'm expectant that all these things that she's seen around the world, the same Holy Spirit is here, and we're going to experience Him here as well. She's also ministered to very high-profile politicians, and after COVID, she went from the stage to the street. The Lord gave her that directive, and she took Jesus to the streets, where she saw the power of good God move in a new way. And uh, her and her husband, who's also here today, Richard, welcome, Richard. Can we just give him a warm welcome? He is her manager. They live together in New York City, and they are currently producing a movie that is going to be shown at at least 1,000 theaters nationwide. Hallelujah. We're going to be first to get our tickets. And so we're very excited to have Pastor Alma with us today. Amen. So can we just give her one more round of applause as we watch this short video? Holy Spirit can be your advisor, your advocate, your helper, your intercessor, your healer. But you need to develop that relationship with the Holy Spirit. presence. 
just think about what he did just yesterday for you and for your family the breakthrough the future breakthroughs that he has for you the, the best plans that he has for you waiting for you just give thanks just thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you papi thank you papa thank you I need an usher, an usher behind that guy, the, the, brown, guy, the, the brown shirt. Just leave your hands, yes. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is over you right now. To do what God is calling you to do. Do not be afraid. You are a Joshua. Joshua. Maybe a, a lot of giants out there. Do not be afraid. Just leave your hands. He's gonna touch you right now. The fire of God over you. Right now. Fire. Now. Yeah, it's all over you. They got you in the back, don't worry. Yeah, it's all over you. More. More. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet, be filled with the anointing to do what he called you to do. Now, now, fire, fire, fire. You are going to run, you are going to run, you are going to run with the fire of God. You are going to run and people, they're gonna be amazed. What happened to you? It's the fire of God. What happened to you? You speak different, you act different. It's the fire of God in me. And you are going to see the supernatural. When you lay hands on the sick, they are going to be healed in the name of Jesus. Just leave your hands right there. Fire of God. We start in revival week, right? <laughs> and during revival, it's his agenda, not my agenda. And sometimes I put the microphone on the side. I say, yeah. Because it's not about me, about anybody. It's about him. Jesus is the only one who has the power to heal you and to change your life. I can heal you, I can change you, but I know, I know somebody. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus who can change your life, who can set you free, who can heal you, who can heal your family, who will provide everything that you need. His name is Jesus. just the appetizer you know they, you guys call it the appetizer here or how you call it the first the what the st oh the starter mm -hmm. you see my accent I like it South African the starter mm. this Mexican you know learning South African accent I love them you, the first time that I came here, I just love how people are so hungry for the presence of God. And first of, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for your pastors, Pastor Peter De Fin and Tammy De Fin. We love you very much. Thank you. Thank you for, for uh, it's, it's an honor for us to be here. You wanna come very quick, honey, to say hi? It is really an honor to be here with this beautiful church. We love you guys. We were here five years ago. I don't know if you remember me. You remember some of you? I remember you very well. So here's my husband. Hello, everybody in Axe Church. How you guys doing? Amen. 
Now, I don't know if any of you guys remember, but I would never get on a stage before. Nope. Um, so revival started in our home where I wasn't doing, you know, this, you know, this being having such stage fright. You know, that's what happens when the power of God takes over you and you see yourself through the eyes of Jesus that um, you can do, like she was saying, things that you thought you never could do before. And this was for years she was trying, and I would not do just, it. Just to say sorry. Yeah, that was, that was a, like a battle. We needed like marital counseling for that. Yeah. Like, just, just, I said, honey, just, just come and say hi. No, and he was like, from the, no, do not ever say Yeah, from there. I'll do one of those things. Don't do it. Está bien, está bien. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we're super happy to be here. You know, we really love you pastors. Um, you know, we, we call them friends. I mean, they're just such wonderful people. And that's why you see the growth. That's why you see the people here because it comes from the top down. Yep. So you guys, you're blessed to have the pastors that you have. So I'm not going to take up any more time, sweetie, so you can go. Because I see the tick, 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 tick. So revival is happening in my home. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, everybody there, right here. But now the, the guys, the guys in the glass, out, out there from the glass, the glass, the window. Hi, we love you. We love you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> so yeah, we love your pastors very, very much. Um, in 2020, we were supposed to do a, a world tour. You know, we were going all over the world, preaching the gospel, doing revival concerts. In Indonesia, Muslims, they were coming to get saved and get filled with the Holy Spirit. Muslims, Hindus in Indonesia, in Bali, oh my gosh, Bali was insane. Uh, guys, they were, uh, they were people getting uh, delivered, baptized in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit took the meeting completely, I didn't even pray for people. People, they were falling down into the right, into the left, the ushers. They were running all over the ushers. In some point, they didn't know what to do. And that's so cool. Because Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit took over. And it's what we want in those meetings. That's what you want. So, so you can walk from this room different and bring a difference in your home in your communities in your estate in your cities and in your country because revival starts in you you carry revival revival starts in you revival means Revive, say it, revive <laughs> from death to life. That is revival. Revival doesn't mean there's people just falling into the ground, running. You know, those are manifestations of the Holy Spirit. People laughing, rolling, jumping, whatever. But what God cares the most it is how you get up from that place and to bring a difference in your home. And how you treat your wife, how you treat your husband, how you treat your family. That is revival. Because if not, it's just pure emotionalism. So during 2020, we were supposed to go to all over the world. But then the pandemic happened, COVID, lockdown. I'm sitting, you know, and we are sitting in our, in our living room, and over a sudden we are taking a look on in our flights and everything got canceled, canceled, canceled. We were supposed to have a, a tour in South Africa. We were about to stay like for over five weeks, and we were supposed to go all over here in South Africa. And that happened, and, and I'm like, what, what are we supposed to do? So you know what we did? It was a lot. We are from New York. New York was crazy, guys, with the whole virus. And it was here everywhere. But 
what I did, I went to the streets, from the stage to the streets, with a megaphone in the streets. I didn't care. I didn't have the lights, right? The band, woo, a beautiful band. You guys sound amazing. Yes. The worship team, I just love them, the singers and the choir. I didn't have the whole production, the smoke, <sighs> nothing produced, the feathers, nothing. <laughs> Everything <laughs> gone. So I went with my jeans, my sneakers. I always carry sneakers because I move a lot. So with my sneakers, my jeans, and my megaphone. Oh, yeah. This Mexican, Latina, American, crazy loca went to the streets. Mm -hmm. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. Mm -mm. Nope. Don't get me started. So anyway, so I went to the streets. They tried to put me in lockdown, but I said, no, I'm not going in lockdown. I'm going to preach the gospel because people are dying in, in, in their houses, are dying in depression, and they need to hear about Jesus. And guess what? I am essential. Mm -hmm. Because I'm preaching the good news. I'm preaching the gospel. I'm preaching hope. I am essential. And you are not going to put me in lockdown? Mm -mm. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Compose yourself. Adam. You are in South Africa. So I start crashing these rallies with my megaphone. And I start singing a very traditional song in America. It's called God Bless America. Did you hear that song before? So I start singing like this. God bless America. This is my megaphone, guys. I'm, I'm making the whole production here, OK? <laughs> so everybody was coming. And then after that, days later, I upgraded with a, a small speaker, a generator, and a microphone. And you know what was my stage? A pickup truck. Oh, yeah, I want my stage, hey. A pickup truck. So I had the pickup truck under the bridge, raining, and then we had big, big, big trucks in the parking lot. You know what they did? They turned their lights towards the pick, my pickup truck, me singing. So I have my lights. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And then after that, the pickup truck was, was um, turned in, turned on. The, the engine was on. So a smoke was coming out. The smoke. <laughs> I, I have the smoke, the lights, and then the rain, 3D effect. Thank you, Jesus. So people, they were coming into the, 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 the pickup truck and they were saying, save me, Jesus, save me, Jesus. We convert those rallies in intercession, worship, salvation, awakening, revival rallies. Thousands of people receiving Jesus in the streets. We went out into the park. This is very funny, guys. You're going to laugh. So we went into the park, and we have a, a baby, the pool, you know the pool when you put the water, the water, right? I'm talking like, like South African, so bear with me. So the, the pool, the water, and we were like, uh, how in the world we gonna put water into the pool? We were kind of far away from the ocean, like, I don't know, like from here to all the way to the exit, the parking lot. So over sudden, a fire truck was passing by. And he goes, hey guys, do you need water? And I said, yes, we're going to have baptisms in the streets. Mm. <laughs> baptisms in the streets. And I said, would you mind? Of course. So they opened, how you call it? The hydrant. That thing. And they are doing everything just for us, OK? We didn't call them or the, nothing. They just opening everything. They clearing the water because a lot of the water was kind of dirty. So they, they are allowing the water just to run. And everybody is looking like, what is going on? A fire truck, something is happening. So guess what? A lot of people was coming. 
I'm fishing. A lot of people was coming. You see? Woo. So, this is getting better. Yeah, thank you. I need that. <laughs> so, anyway, so, you know, they were coming, they were putting water into the pool and everything. So, and I said, okay, so I start just with my microphone, small speaker, a generator. I, I start singing my songs. You're a great God. So, go to iTunes, okay? My music is there. Your mercy is everlasting by myself and my tracks. And my honey taking a video. <laughs> You're a great, and I, I'm singing like I have 10,000 people in front of me. I didn't care. I didn't care. So people, they were coming. I said, who wants to receive Jesus? Me, me, me. I said, okay. Who wants to get baptized in water? Me, me, me. So we have baptisms in the streets in New York, in New Jersey, in America. <laughs> But watch, this is getting better. So, people are coming. I'm inside in the pool with them. Baptize them in the name of Jesus. They coming back. And then I start, God told me, just pray so they can be filled with the Holy Ghost. I said, in the streets? Yes, in the streets. Okay, Lord, this is not church. In the streets, yeah, okay. So I start praying. I didn't even lay hands because I'm gonna confess with you, like to you, I was a little afraid they're gonna go fall into the ground in, in, the, in, the, in the park. But anyway, I just start praying for them. And over them, guys, people start falling like a flies. Boom, 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 getting filled with the Holy Spirit in the park. In the park. I never saw something like that. And imagine tons of bodies in the park. Yeah, in Jersey. The police came. And he was, lady, hi, <laughs> hi, hi, how are you? Uh, your, basically, who are you, your ID? Uh, I am Alma Rivera, nice to meet you, I'm a singer, I can sing for you, you know, I'm preaching, people need, need hope, so I'm here to give them hope. Yeah, but what is going on? Well, so I had to explain the police that the Holy Spirit touched them. <laughs> and I said, well, the Holy Spirit touched them, and you know, when you feel the presence of God so strong, so they go into the floor, and that's it and I can't do anything about it. <laughs> and he goes, oh, cool. And I said, uh, sir, do you want me to pray for you? No, no, lady, I'm good, I'm good, keep going, I'm good. We have security for the rest of the meeting outside. For the rest of the meeting in the park. People just getting filled with the Holy Ghost and fire in the park. You see? We cannot do church like the way we were doing it before 2020. Everything changed. So after that, oh, during that, I call it meeting because it was a meeting. I don't care the location. It was a meeting, a revival meeting. So a priest was passing by with his collar. And I have, tomorrow I'm gonna show it to you. I have a picture. He's very tall, and the priest is like this, and me praying for him. He got filled with the Holy Ghost, right there. After that, God told us to go to different places. And we went to the worst areas in New York. We went to the uh, New, uh, Harlem, they were having killed, they, they shot, shoot somebody. Uh, I don't know how many people they shoot there in the streets a day before. Two people got killed a day before. In the same corner, I was preaching. People that were coming to Jesus. Another time we went to, to the buildings in Manhattan. So I'm surrounding with buildings, right? So I have the band. For that time, I, I upgraded. I, I can have the band. Thank you, Jesus. So 
I was, you know, surrounded by meetings. So in concerts, normally I said, like the way I said it today, hello, row number three. Hi, row number three. Say hi to me, guys. Say hi. You are three. Yes, you are, you are three. Hi. So I was saying to the buildings, hey, building five, 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 five. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. Who wants to receive Jesus, Jesus, Jesus? The hands were coming out through the windows during lockdown. A lady came down and she goes, today I was about to kill myself and kill my son. We were about to kill ourselves but I heard the sound. And I said, lady, you heard the sound of salvation. You heard the sound of freedom. You heard the sound of joy. That lady received Jesus, got filled with the Holy Ghost, and now she is serving in a local church. That is revival. After that, we keep walking and doing and doing. And then you're going to see, they're going to show you what happened in Batavia, New York, in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a cornfield. We have a 10 revival in Batavia, New York. Super excited. The, the, the level of expectation, it is just amazing. And you feel the presence of the Lord. We have the perfect weather and everything is just amazing. People also for their dreams to be fulfilled. There's a lot of people that are, you know, looking for direction in their life. We just really expect in every area to God to move yeah. in everybody who comes here. This, this meeting is called The Pursuit. Yeah. And it's the pursuit, the presence of the Lord. So people, they're gonna see, oh, what is gonna happen if I run after him? Yes. Watch what is going to happen. Can't tell you how appropriately this event has been named. And God has so anointed Alma, we see people pursuing the Lord. It is a, it's evidence of the hunger in this area. so amazed for what God is doing here in Batavia, New York. The, the presence of the Holy Spirit was so powerful and tangible. And I really believe what is going on is happening right now in Batavia, New York, is gonna hit not just New York State, but whole America and the world. You are healed, you are healed, you are healed, you are healed. God has blessed Alma with just an amazing way to deliver the word. Um, she, she projects the love of Jesus. And um, young people really got a hold of that. It's a generation that's getting indoctrin indoctrinated uh, in ways that we've never seen before. The level of, of hunger from people, from, from kids to young adults to elders was indescribable. Mary, you believe and you are healed. Mary, you believe and you are healed. We see people of all ages. We see healing. We, the other night we saw an incredible healing of a woman who's 87 years old, uh, had a withered hand and was walking around in a cane and now she's jumping for joy and her hands are totally free. We experienced the supernatural move of God. This is just the beginning of what I believe is gonna be the greatest move of God that history has ever seen. I really believe that God has more. This is just the beginning. This is just the, the surface for what God is about to do. And I believe it's going to happen in South Africa. You are gonna start seeing miracles like never before. You are going to be, be, be filled during this week that the Thai conference is going to start. 
you are going to you need to be in expectation for what God is going about to do so go with me very quick Luke 19 so when you have it say I have it or say amen amen I'm going to try to just develop this be quick, very, very quick. So don't miss tomorrow. I'm going to continue with the same. And I'm going to be praying for you tomorrow. And God has something very special for you. So it says, Jesus entered Jericho and made his way through the town. There was a man there named Zacchaeus. He was the chief tax collector in the region, and he had become very rich. He tried to get a look at Jesus, but he was too sure to see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree beside the road, for Jesus was going to pass that way. So when Jesus came by, by he looked up at Zacchaeus, and call him by name. Zacchaeus, he said. Quick, come down. I must be a guest in your home today. Zacchaeus quickly climbed down and took Jesus to his house in great excitement and joy. So imagine the picture. Saqueo was a short man, chiquito, chaparrito, we say in Spanish. Chiquito. That's why, you know, I have my sneakers to give you the whole picture. Chiquito, chaparrito. So he was walking to look for Jesus. But a lot of people told people they were there. And he was jumping and jumping. Where is Jesus? Oh, hijo de mano. Oh, hijo eso. And he was having his, his tunic. You know the tunic? Right? The tunic. So he was trying to hold his tunic. And he saw he looked, and over sudden, the light, bah, a sycamore tree. And he, looked, he, goes, he goes, I'm going to go there. Oh, I don't care. I'm going to go there. So he ran ahead. He didn't care about what the people said about him. He didn't care. He had too many obstacles, but he knew one thing. He's going to have one chance to meet the master. And for nothing, he will miss it. I'm going to do whatever I have to do, but I am not missing my opportunity. The master is going to pass by, and I'm going to wait. Oh, yes, I'm going to wait in expectation your expectation will turn into manifestation whatever you are expecting for today this week you will see the goodness of the Lord if you believe by your faith it will be done by your faith not by your complaint but by your faith so you are waiting like Zacchaeus I'm not missing my opportunity wherever Lord to be there in the presence because the, the master is going to pass by and, and he's gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the attention from the master I don't know what I, I need to do I don't care if people talk bad about me I don't care I don't care but what I care the most I want the attention of the master So he's there. He was a very unlikable rich man. He was stealing money. 
So he had a tag. Corrupt old rich men. A tag. And Jesus, so Zacchaeus is, is, is right here in the sycamore tree. Right here, waiting. And over sudden he sees the whole crowd and Jesus passing by. Passing by. Passing by. And zoop, Jesus stops. Zoop, he turns. And he sees Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus is looking at Jesus. And Jesus is looking at Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus is looking at Jesus. Zacchaeus! He's calling me by my name. He's calling me by my name. Zacchaeus! He didn't call him, hey, old, rich, grumpy, ugly, short man. Zacchaeus! And the meaning of Zacchaeus, you know what the real mean, the meaning of Zacchaeus is? Pure, innocent, clean. Jesus was not calling him by his past, but Jesus was calling him by his redemption name. You are pure, you are clean, you are transformed. How many people are trying to put a tag in your life? You are unqualified. Don't dream. You are set up to live that way forever. Just forget about it. You did this in the past. You sleep over with I don't know how many women or men. I'm talking to the, the real thing guys here. I am very... Uh, spiritual, I speak spiritual things, but I speak very natural things. Real life. So how many people are putting a tag in you and trying to block? Or yourself, not the people, yourself. That you are not good enough, that you are not qualified, that you, that, that you can do anything. That you will never live the, 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 in the, the place that you are because you are in such a poverty place or your marriage never is going to be fixed because there's no hope. Your kids are smoking pot, cocaine. Oh, it is what it is. I hate that word. You don't know how I, do. I hate that word. It is what it is. No, it's no, it is what it is. I know somebody who can change your life. I know somebody who can change you from the inside out. And his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. So Jesus called him Zacchaeus, pure, innocent, innocent. What? Sometimes we put God in a box and we don't realize how big God is. We don't realize his love. And maybe you don't realize the love of God. We are so get used to it, to church and religion. And we are missing the best part, a relationship. And it's what Jesus was trying to have with Zacchaeus, a relationship. He called him by his name. And then Zacchaeus looked at Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Imagine he was super, oy, oy, almost, almost, you know, he, he get on the, on the ground with a tunic. I wear this too, you know, to make you feel this tunic here so you can see. So like that, right? And he's trying to go down. So in the beginning, Zacchaeus was pursuing Jesus. But after that, when Jesus called him, Zacchaeus, come down and take me to your house. I'm going with you. And then what happened is switch. Instead, Zacchaeus pursuing Jesus, Jesus start pursuing Zacchaeus. Take me to your home. And the Bible says that he will pursue you and chase you with songs of love. And when Jesus pursues you, he brings the whole package. Everything. Jesus doesn't want to see you defeated. Upset, in depression, in poverty, in lack, living with hate. 
Jesus wants to set you free. Jesus wants to transform your life. This is just basic, fundamental Bible. That we need to go back to the foundation. What Jesus is about. Basically, Jesus told Zacchaeus, I want to have a communion with you. He was having fellowship with Zacchaeus. I hate religion. I can stand religion. I can't. I can't. I got rushes. I can't. But I want a relationship with God. And Jesus wants a relationship with you. A close relationship with you. No a religion. We can do church like the way we were doing 2020. We need to go out. Get filled with the Holy Ghost. Get filled with the fire of God. And go and occupy. Go and occupy. And you will be, you know, agents from the Holy Spirit. To lay hands on the sick. Oh yeah, me? Yes, you. To pray for people, to bring people to Christ, invite them to church. We are so comfortable in our churches in America. I don't know about here, but in America, with air conditioners, cushion seats, everything. And people are dying in the streets. What we are doing. So this week, you need to be in such an expectation. I'm telling you, because I'm living it. I'm not talking to you something that I am not living it. When you expect something from the Lord and you confess and you pray about it and you say, Lord, I believe he is listening. He's listening to you, whatever you need. And maybe it's your first time coming into a meeting like this. To hear this crazy Latina Mexican with a big accent preaching and, and singing and talking to you. But I just, I just came, we just came from all the way from New York. 25 hours flight, something like that. Just to tell you and to share what is happening in America. And we believe, we believe a revival is coming, not just in America, but around the world, because Jesus is coming very soon. But before, the, 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 the end is not here yet. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Pandemics. Brother against brother. We are living it, guys. It is happening. But the Bible says, but the end is not here yet. And I'm going to continue tomorrow. About, I'm going to talk about the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Spirit. What is the meaning of the power of the Holy Spirit? What is that? So don't miss it tomorrow. And I'm going back, I'm going back now to tell you. It is your first time that you are in a meeting like this. And maybe you... You just walk away from church because you may get disappointed. They hurt you or you are facing bankruptcy or you are facing depression or just you are not too sure about if you die today, you have your free pass to heaven. Is that you? Everybody close your eyes, please. Everybody close your eyes. If you want to make sure that you have your free pass to heaven and you have eternal life. Today, this morning is your opportunity. And maybe this is your last call. Maybe you keep hearing this in the past and you've been very resistant in the past. But today is your last call. So today, God himself, Jesus is giving you the opportunity to change your life around. If that's you, if you want to receive Jesus or come back to home, to the Father, you were running away and you want to come back and you want to make sure that you have 
a guarantee eternal life is that you please just leave your hand and just wave at me raise your hand God bless you 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 I'm seeing you God bless 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 you I God bless you I love the kids and the youth God bless you yes Lord the kids and the youth yes Lord who else in this side who else God bless you God bless you God bless you so God bless you I'm seeing you I'm seeing you sweetie I'm, I'm seeing you God bless you God bless you I'm seeing you God bless you God bless you God bless you God bless you I'm seeing you God bless you okay now I want for you to do, do something for me just stand up on your feet whoever raised your hand just stand up on your feet please stand up don't be afraid yes just clap yeah thank you Jesus stand up on your feet help me ushers that's right I want to pray I want to meet you just could you please just do me a favor, just come forward here. I want to meet you and pray for you. Come here. Help me, ushers, please. Bring the people. Come here. Yeah, come here. Come, come forward. Tell your, your friend to, uh, to come to bring you here. Come here. Yeah. Keep clapping, you see? This is beautiful. Come forward. High five. Come closer. Come closer because I don't want to fail. Yes. 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 Keep clapping. People are keep still coming. Thank you, Jesus. It is a party in heaven. Woo! Amen. People are still coming. People are still coming. I, I'm going to wait for you. I'm going to wait for you. I'm going to wait for you. And it's people in that room as well. You are welcome to come. Yeah, they're coming. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Yeah. I'm coming. They're, st they're still coming. They're still coming. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. They're still coming. <laughs> This is the best decision of your life. Your life will not be the same. You are going to walk from this place transformed. I love just the youth. You are going to bring a transformation in your generation, in your schools. You are going to be bold. Listen. And you're going to shine for Christ. And whatever pain that you went through, whatever he knows, he's healing your heart, sweetie, right now. The deep. Yeah, he's healing your heart. So everybody close your eyes. And everybody repeat this prayer after me, please. And say, Lord Jesus, today I repent of all of my sins. I open my heart to you. And I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you for dying on the cross for me thank you for set me free I know that you rose again and you live and I want to invite you to live in my heart be the king in my heart transform my life since now on I will never 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 be the same I will never be the same in the name of Jesus I pray amen amen <laughs> welcome to the family right guys welcome to the family <laughs> 
so it is somebody here with a raise raising the hand right here right you see turn this side everybody look at me right there you're gonna follow them they're gonna give you some instructions you need to be planted in a church this church okay they are going to take care of you you need to grow in the word of the lord so you need to be planted and and, and being in community and this family here they are welcome you with open arms okay so you are welcome okay so please everybody walk 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 towards here and everybody follow this beautiful lady right here he's gonna talk to you just yeah just go and follow her everybody come on now <laughs> praise you Jesus <laughs> this is just wonderful right keep clapping this is amazing the angels are having a big fiesta a party in heaven <laughs> uh, just stand on your feet please we're gonna finish we're gonna finish I'm gonna bless you tomorrow tell somebody tomorrow don't miss it and arrive early because the seats are gonna gone so you need to arrive early God has something very special walk with expectation tomorrow tomorrow I'm gonna be praying for you we're gonna have more time so let me pray and release you and bless you father I bless every single person who is in this meeting this morning Father, thank you for the word that you are speaking to them this morning. Father, bring like a, a seal in their hearts. They keep meditating, Father, wherever you spoke to them today, wherever the experience of your presence was today. Father, keep them in the same presence until the whole week. And since this week, their lives will not be the same. I bless them. I bless their family. I bless the child. And Father, thank you because they are going to their houses with peace and with joy i bless them in the name of jesus amen <laughs>